Lord, in the next 21 days when a team goes into D.C. To, in front of the Supreme Court from IHOP U, the call, the call school, we pray right now that you would begin to break into judges there. Come to Sotomayor. Come to Justice Sotomayor. Come to Justice Kennedy. Break in with dreams, revelation, God. Challenge the courts. Father, I pray that you would raise up a movement of prayer that challenges abortion in every place. 1996, God gave us a dream that I was leading thousands of young people up these stairs to make war on the gates of the Supreme Court. I didn't know it then, but I do now. That we have placed an ecclesia at the gates of the Supreme Court. We know what our job description is. Give us those judges. Break through into their minds and lives. Remove those that are not of God and raise up the righteous. So a company goes there six years ago and a young lady has a dream. And she has a dream that a, the next judge will be a man named John Roberts. And we begin to declare that in prayer. And who would have guessed that in a two-week period, as we were praying that George Bush would appoint a man named John Roberts as the next Supreme Court Justice. Sometimes the demonic powers are filibustering and the church needs to filibuster with continuous prayer until they can't hold any longer. I said at that time George Bush was not able to get his pro-life nominees into the courts across America and the Lord gave us an assignment. Your assignment must be break that filibuster. And he gave us a revelation that we needed to stand in front of the Supreme Court, face the Senate building for 72 hours straight, day and night, and stretch out our hands like this. It sounds weird, I know. Stretch out that rod and command the breaking of that filibuster. And day and night, in the dark and in the day, those kids stretching out their rod like this, commanding that filibuster to break. And in the next moment, in the next movement when the new Supreme Court justice was being, no was, uh, was being tried to be nominated, they tried to raise up the filibuster and it melted like snow in the summer heat.